Hey guys, Fergatronics here, and today I'll be giving you a guide on getting Black Ops 1 running through WinLater 10.1 on the Odin 2. First I'll detail my container settings, then I'll show you why the game doesn't run, then I'll provide a fix and a demonstration. So here I'm displaying my settings on WinLater. Note that in the environment variables, if there are any settings that don't show up for you, you'll just have to add them manually and type it them in exactly as they are here. The value should come after. So I'm launching up Black Ops, and the problem with this is once you go to launch zombies, it'll say the server isn't connected and it'll boot you back to the main menu. I'll show you right now. Okay, so the next step is to connect your Odin 2 to a computer. Then you're going to want to navigate into the internal storage and you're going to want to find where your Black Ops game is installed. So here I have the Black Ops folder. And I'm going to go into Players. And then I'm going to copy config.cfg and I'm just going to paste it into my documents. Now I haven't pasted it because I already have a pre-configured config file here. So I'm going to show you how to edit the con config file. So once you've pasted it into my documents, you're going to want to right click it and you're going to want to go to open with notepad. Now, you're going to want to put this into your config file exactly as it's written here, otherwise it will not work. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go back to the folder and replace the original config file. Now, launching Black Ops on the Odin 2, every number on the keypad should be mapped to a different zombies map from 0 to 9. I'll go ahead and open the on-screen keyboard. I'll press 1, and that should take me to the first zombies map. As you can see, it's booting here and it should run perfectly at 60 FPS. And there you have it. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more in the future. Thank you.